Hi, good day everyone. Welcome to Science Colab. For today's lesson, we're going to explain how blood is pumped by the heart. But before that, let us identify the different parts of the heart and its role and function. The human heart is a hollow muscular organ that pumps blood throughout the body. A cone-shaped organ weighing less than a pound and about the size of your fist, which is located in the center of your chest between the lungs and above the diaphragm. What are the parts of the heart? The parts of the heart are divided into four sections. First, the four chambers. Second, veins. Third, arteries. And last, valves. What are the four hollow chambers of the heart? The hollow chambers of the heart are the right and left atria and the right and left ventricles. The atria are the receiving chambers of the heart. Accepting blood from the body, the right atrium, and from the lungs, the left atrium. While the ventricles are the pumping chambers, moving blood to the lungs, the right ventricles, and into the body, the left ventricles. Second sections of the heart is veins. Veins carry the oxygenated blood. And veins are divided into three parts. First, superior vena cava. Second, inferior vena cava. And the third is pulmonary veins. Superior vena cava receives blood from the upper part of your body, such as neck, head, chest, and upper limbs. While the inferior vena cava receives blood from the lower region of your body, such as abdomen and lower limbs. And the last, the pulmonary veins are the veins that transfer oxygenated blood from the lungs to the heart. And the third sections of the heart is artery. Artery carries oxygenated blood. We have two parts of artery. First, the aorta. Aorta is the main and the largest artery in the human body. Second is pulmonary artery. Pulmonary artery is an artery in the pulmonary circulation that carries the oxygenated blood from the right side of the heart to the lungs. And the last section of the heart are the four valves. Valves control the flow of the blood in one direction to prevent blood from flowing back. We have four types of valves. First, the pulmonary valve. Second, tricuspid valve. Third one, the mitral valve. And the last, aortic valve. And now, you already know the different parts of the human heart. This time, let us explain how blood is pumped by the heart or the circulatory pathway. As mentioned, blood travels around the body through the cardiovascular system or circulatory system. Blood enters the heart through the biggest veins called the superior vena cava and inferior vena cava. Again, the superior vena cava drains blood from the upper part of your body such as head, neck, chest, and upper limbs. The inferior vena cava collects blood from the lower part of the body, such as the abdomen and lower limbs. The deoxygenated blood from these two veins enter the right atrium. It passes the tricuspid valve, then into the right ventricle. From there, 
it goes to the pulmonary artery, passing the pulmonary valve, and then to the lungs for oxygenation. The blood now carries oxygen. Then, it travels toward the left atrium, passing the bicuspid valve. The oxygenated blood further travels into the left ventricle and passes to the aortic valve, and then moves toward the largest artery called the aorta. The aorta distributes the oxygenated blood throughout the body via small branches. To check your understanding, kindly answer the following guide questions. First, how would you describe the human heart? Second, what are the four chambers of the heart? Third, what is the use of the heart valves? Fourth, how would you compare an artery with a vein? And the last, for number five, what are the functions of the superior vena cava and inferior vena cava and the aorta? Congratulations students for finishing this lesson. I hope you learned something for this topic and once again, thank you and God bless.